Welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is Angular 14 full tutorial series for absolute beginners. In the last episode, we learned about various versions of Angular and we saw different additions that got added to Angular over a period of time. We are currently in Angular 14 version as you are part of the series. Today we will learn about how to upgrade any existing Angular applications to Angular 14. Before we talk about upgradation in Angular, let me tell you a generic view about upgrade to any application. Upgrades are really difficult, complex, they have to follow a process and also if you notice each upgrade that you do for any application is very very personal. When I say personal it means that there is no one size fits all. The requirements, the dependencies could be different, the challenges could be different. However, in this episode, I will talk you through some of the generic process and if you have any particular questions, feel free to reach out to me at surya.aradhi at gmail.com and I will try to help you as much as I can. If you, li if you like my work in the series, please consider buying me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash tutorials. Alright, so these are the this is the complete playlist index we are preparing as we move along in the series. Make sure that you go through all the episodes so that you can learn and master Angular with me. Alright, so let's talk about some of the upgrade steps that we need to do. Now, this process applies to Angular 2 and onwards. Alright, so the basic uh, core of any uh, Angular upgrade is we run the command ng update at the rate angular slash cli at the rate angular slash core. This would upgrade your Angular to the latest version, which is Angular 14, right? And if you are also using Angular Material with it, run an additional command, which is ng update slash Angular slash Material. Now, what this particular command does is it would bring all your dependencies of Angular related ones to version 14. Okay. However, that being said, if you have any existing application, it should work as it is unless some of the mentioned uh, uh, properties or dependencies that have been deprecated. So over a period of time, if you're on, if you're not on any close version, let's say if you're up trying to upgrade from Angular 2 to Angular 14, obviously there will be a lot of breaking changes. A lot of things have changed. One good example is earlier it used to be called HTTP module. Now it's called HTTP client module. Right. So those things will break if you are on a very, very lower version. However, if you are on any uh, recent versions like 12, 13 or something, that should be a relatively easy and smoother upgrades. All right. Now, that being said, uh, what's the other way to upgrade? We can check and all the dependencies, all the required steps that we need to do at upgrade.angular.io. So we can click on that link. Okay, it looks update, I think it's not upgrade. Let's check update.angular.angular.io. So I'll correct that in my PPT as well. But you can see here when you say update.angular.io, here you can tell which version you are at. We are on Angular 12. We want to Angular 14. How complex is your app? Let's say medium. I use, right? Uh, don't this select this option if you are using Angular JS. I use Angular Material, I use Windows, right? So, but don't use that Windows, I would say, because that's again going to cause problems if you're deploying somewhere else. So show me how to update, and these are the guide to upgrade step by step, right? So you have all the things that are here. When you follow these steps one by one, check, check mark as you go along, so you know that what you have done, right? So there is a process here. You need to follow this entire steps in order to make sure that your application is working up and running all right again like i say every upgrade is unique every upgrade has its own challenges unique way of implementation so yeah follow the steps and see how far you go and let me know if you have any issues i will be happy to help you as well all right so i'll keep this quick in this from the next episode we will actually start writing code um, we'll start learning angular cli and we'll actually be doing some hands-on coding from next episode. So join me in the next episode of this series. Uh, we will learn and master Angular 14 with me end to end. If you like my work, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Keep supporting. Thank you so much.